The most underreported stories are those stories that the that workers and people live every day. We are we live in a society that is sen is about sensationalism. It's about the it's about the latest sensation that happened, whether it's a act of oppression, whether it's a, a, a an, <clears throat> an invention or those kinds of things. But 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 the real issue is what do people live on a daily basis? What do people who have to get up and go to work every day, what do people who have to migrate thousands of miles from their homeland and have to live under repressive conditions, how do they do that? How, do, how can they live like that? And why do we allow that to continue generation after generation? That is the story. How, what responsibilities do we have as humans when we understand those conditions and when we don't try and change those conditions? That is the problem. That is our responsibility. No state is going to say, let's all be humanistic. But we, at an individual level, we as human beings, have to see other human beings who are oppressed, who are suffering, and say, that is my sister. That is my brother, whether I know them because they live in my state or not. And that is, that is the kind of new philosophy that we have to develop. And nation states are, are bounded. People within those nation states live under this false notion of nationalism and that that becomes the ideology. And I say, no, we, we have to have a new ideology. We have to have an ideology where we care for human beings on earth. We care what happens to ecology. We care what happens to the land. And then we design our lives so that we can, uh, we can promote the, um, the development of human persons.